Now usually you'll hear my voice from behind the camera when it comes to vidIQ videos. But for this one, it's absolutely necessary that I stand in front of a camera. So first of all, let's give you some context. A studio I do not have. I'm a YouTuber just like you and I have to work with what I've got. And this is what I've got. It is my spare bedroom. Barely 150 square feet and look at the room I have to stand in here. It's absolutely appalling. But I wanted to give you a test demonstration of what you can do with a green screen very cheaply to give you quite spectacular results. The basic idea of a green screen is to give you a colour that contrasts with everything else in shot. So you can remove that colour when you go to your video editor. Bright green is one such colour and this is where things get really cheap. I bought this simple plastic table cover sheet for $2 from a Dollarama. It's huge, easy to cut to size and very cheap to replace. With a single sheet of this stuff and some sticky tape, I was able to put this up in 5 minutes, making sure every part of the wall was covered because if one speck is not green it will stick out like a sore thumb. And so as long as you've covered every single nook and cranny, you should have this beautiful background canvas to work with to do stuff like this. Man, that's really addictive. Aha, now this is really interesting. This is all to do with <laughs> Any modern half decent video editor will have the tools to do this and it's usually called the chroma key tool. In my video editor, which is Camtasia 9, it's simply called remove a colour. So I can now add the remove colour effect to my clip and with the eyedropper tool I can select exactly the colour I want to remove, which is my green screen background. Although there are different shades of green here, the tool should be intelligent enough to work out what I want to remove and voila! A perfect disposable green screen for $2. And remember your image editing rules. When you have more than one layer, make sure you order them correctly or the white background you want to use will turn into your white foreground. Generally speaking, the clip that contains the green screen should be the top video layer with everything else behind it unless you want to obscure the top layer on purpose. I'm not sure I'm quite ready for this sort of branding. So what are the benefits of a green screen? First and foremost, context. This is vidIQ. Here is our product, I can talk to you about it with it in the background. Travel vlogs, what a perfect way to illustrate where you've been and what you've done. And as for gaming, think of the possibilities. I personally am a Clash Royale fan and I'm seriously considering using this technique in my future videos on my own channel. Basically, your options are only limited by your own imagination. A green screen frees you up from limitations. You've seen the cramped conditions that I work in. But the viewer only sees this small window. So you can turn your cramped small office into an infinite universe. And the final benefit of having a green screen has actually nothing to do with having a green screen at all. It's all about challenging yourself as a video content creator. And that's why I said at the start of this video it was absolutely necessary to stand in front of a camera. I've been making videos for vidIQ for nearly a year now and you see me in front of camera once for about five seconds. So I wanted to challenge myself and this cramped studio was always an excuse not to get in front of camera. But then I discovered green screens and now I think I will never look anywhere else. It's the perfect solution. It's challenged me to be in front of camera, to give these videos a more human connection. Whether you like me or loathe me, you can now look directly into my eyes and tell me what you think. We have a connection, or at least I hope we do. So whether it's installing a green screen, jumping in front of camera to talk to the camera, or trying a new software editor which you think is completely impenetrable, just try it, give it a go, challenge yourself as a content creator because that's how you grow. Remember in the first 6 to 12 months when you were forced to try new things because you knew nothing about video making, that's what the process should be about all the time, making yourself a better content creator so that you can share these things and inspire others with your work. Oh, and I almost forgot the entire reason I'm here. Do please download vidIQ because it will help you get more views in less time.
Hey, what? Yes. 